Hey, it's David Pinger. Thanks for watching another edition of Garage in Stock. Today we've got a two-stroke, a retro build. This is one of our West Coast editor, Kyle Scott. It's his 2006 RM250. Uh, this thing was pretty hammered when we took it in, and Jay Clark offered to do a complete rebuild on it. Um, I mean, it needed to be gone through, crank, piston, the, the top end, the whole deal. Um, it, was, it was kind of a mess, and I think, as you'll see, it came out really, really nice. A lot of companies have got involved, and I think we put together what is a really cool project. So Jay Clark was the guy in charge of putting this whole thing together, and he started with the engine. Uh, they took, a, took the bottom end apart, put in a hot rods rod and crank, uh, which is a kit that you can buy from those guys that's really good. Uh, they put a vertex piston and a ring in to complement that, freshen up the whole top end, and uh, put on a brand new FMF Gold Series pipe and silencer. The frame, it was taken completely down to the frame. The frame had some dents in it that were kind of, they welded in and sanded uh, to get it straight and looking good again. And then San Diego Powder and Protective Coatings did a powder coating procedure on it. And it's actually got a pearl, like a bluish purple pearl in it. It's really cool looking. Millennium Technologies also replated the cylinder. This thing had quite a bit of time on it. And those guys do a, a service on that that gets it back to uh, some standard tolerances. Works Connection offered up a lot of bits and pieces for this bike. Uh, you know, your oil fill plug, your clutch perch, um, frame guards, all those little caps and bits and pieces are all Works Connection. The hubs are TCR, uh, which are put together with some tusk wheels or tusk rims and spokes. We got some yellow radiator hoses from CV4 to uh, plug into the radiators and ICW made us some reinforcement brackets to support those, make sure those stay straight. Renthal provided bars, grips, and our sprocket for this project. Regina provided the chain. It's got a full Hinson clutch, clutch and clutch basket and cover on this thing. A Churvis provided the plastic for this bike and they actually made some adjustments on the front fender and the triple clamp so that it can mount a 2016 front fender to make it look a little more modern. And then they also trimmed the side number plates. Uh, in, back in 06, these things hung down and looked real uh, long. So by trimming it up like that, it gives it a more modern look. The suspension was all valve for Kyle specifically by Factory Connection. Uh, those guys are really good at going in, doing a nice revalve, freshening everything up, making sure the oil and everything is, uh, is fresh, seals are fresh. And VP provided us some fuel. C12 is typically what those guys would recommend for a, a two-stroke. And of course, the guys at Pivot Works and Cometic Gasket provided a lot of the bearings and seals and gaskets that we needed to do the, a rebuild like this on an older bike. And finally, TM Design Works got our chain guide. It's a bright yellow, kind of goes with it, and our slider. Those things last quite a long time, very durable, and uh, they come in different colors too, so you can give your bike a personalized look. We mounted some Dunlop MX3S tires up to our wheel set. Uni sent us an air filter to use in this, and the seat is done by Moto Seat with some custom striping. The rotors that are mounted to these wheels are also Motomaster. They have a very uh, unique, cool look to them. The front rotor's oversized, and uh, those things really improve your stopping power. There's also a steel braided front line on there, uh, and a ride engineering front brake line clamp. Uh, and Applied Racing uh, made us some custom triple clamps for this thing. The black really goes with it and finishes it off nicely. You can get these things in different offsets. So the folks at Applied do a great job of uh, providing us a lot of things we need for these different projects. So thanks to them. Uh, I'm excited to give this thing a try. Let's go uh, mix up some gas and get this thing dirty.
This is the first time I've ridden a 2006 RM250 since about 2006. So um, it's been a minute and I was interested to just kind of be reminded what this bike was like and um, it's good. I like the, the way the motor works. Uh, it's, it's nice and tight and fresh, which is great. The, the pivot works and hot rod and all that kit that went in there, the, the vertex piston, tightened everything up, made it nice and sharp and fresh. Uh, we had a little bit of a jetting issue initially. Our pilot's a little rich, so we opened up the air screw and got it better. Uh, I think a lean, one leaner pilot will clean it up to where it's just right. But uh, the roll-on power is really good on this. It's um, I, I remembered these being real light switchy on and off, but actually this thing, if you just carried a little bit of momentum through your turn, you could you could really uh, just leave the clutch alone and use the throttle and be smooth coming out of turn. So that's a really good characteristic on a 250. I was I was really stoked with that. Um, it's a comfortable bike, turns really quickly, which Suzuki's always had that uh, that feel. Gets in and out of turns really well. The suspension actually worked okay for me. A little soft on some of the jump landings for me, but it's not set up for me. Uh, but the guys at uh, Factory Connection did a good job. Uh, everything else on it, it, it's really good. Brakes are good, the tires worked well, the, the Renthal stuff's very comfortable to me. Uh, we got the, the rain grips on, or the wet grips, just because they're black and they looked better, but. Uh, I would probably go to a half waffle medium, but these things do look nice. They're just really sticky and uh, they're a little bit bigger in diameter than a half waffle uh, medium, which I normally run. But uh, yeah, really good. Good power, suspension work good, brakes, all that stuff's great. Um, so to take a bike that's this old, you know, already 10 years old, and to be able to go out and, I mean, I can probably ride this just as quickly as I could a, a 250F, uh, that's that's impressive. That's saying something, you know, the, as far as we've come with that technology, this is still competitive. And uh, that's interesting to me. So anyway, really cool. I think it came out great. Thank you to all the companies that were involved. Um, really stoked. I'm sure Kyle is going to love this bike. And uh, he's got himself a, a nice two-stroke race bike. We'll expect to see him at some uh, two-stroke nationals this year. So uh, thank you to everybody involved. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. But when you, once you have it cleared out, like it's got good, good power, like roll-on power, it's nice.